you're creating a digital product like an ebook, a workbook, or a planner in Canva to sell. You're excited by the idea and you can't wait to finish your product. You get to 200 pages and then you're stuck. You just realize that Canva has a page limit and you're frantically wondering what else can you do? Has all your hard work and time been in vain? Do you need to start from scratch? Well, in this video, I am going to show you how to fix that problem. Hey guys, this is Dawn Marie and I am a digital marketer and on this channel, I am documenting my journey of starting a digital product business from scratch and I will not be using marketplaces like Creative Market or Etsy. Instead, I've built my own website and I'm going to show you just how I am bringing my business to market and getting in front of an audience. I'm also going to be sharing my highs and lows, my wins and mistakes. So if that's something that you're interested in, then I would love if you subscribe to the channel and definitely like this video if you want to learn how to fix the problem of Canva's 200 page limit. Now I got a message from one of my subscribers who asked the question whether they had to start over um, their document in Google Docs from scratch because of Canva's page limit. So I thought, why not create a video to answer that question? And actually, no, you don't. Now, I also encountered this problem when I created a marketing plan as a digital product that I wanted to sell. At the time, the marketing plan was 147 pages long and Canva had a 100 page limit. So when that happened, I thought, oh no, what do I do now? So I searched the internet and I came up with a solution called I Love PDF. And I Love PDF is a, an online software that allows you to merge two PDF files and combine it into one. So here's what I did. Here are the two files that I created on Canva. So I first created my first 100 pages of my digital product in one Canva file. Remember that when this happened, the page limit at the time was 100 pages. Canva has now increased that to 200 pages. And then I also created a second Canva file, again, up to the number of pages that I wanted in my ebook in total. Once I was finished with the documents, meaning that I liked how they looked and they were ready for publishing, I downloaded them to my desktop. I just made sure that the file type I selected was a PDF document. So PDF standard would be great for documents that you want to share over the internet and for emailing or there's also PDF print, which is best for printing. I chose PDF standard. I then went to Google and I typed in merge PDF. And as you can see, there are several merge PDF online software that you can use, but I found the ilovepdf.com file. So I will open that in a separate browser. And you will come to the home page where you can select Merge PDF. Of course, you, when you get to the landing page, you can select the PDF files. Make sure that you are selecting all the PDF files that you want to merge together. Now, sometimes it may happen that the first PDF document that you want to merge is actually on this side. So you can see that you can drag and drop the document in the order in which you want it to appear. This is part one of my file and part two of my file. So I have dropped it in the order in which I want the documents to appear. Then I select merge PDF. The software will do its magic and you can see how quickly it does that. Then I click download merge PDF. I'm going to save this document. Then voila, I have 124 pages of a merged file. This is how it was before with 100 pages. So that was part one. This is part two with 124 pages. And now I have a complete document which has all my pages in my P one PDF file. So you don't have to let Canva limit hinder your progress. 
Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video and it helped you solve the problem of Canva's 200 page limit. Don't forget that I'm sharing my living case study of building my own digital product business from scratch without relying on marketplaces like, Can like Etsy or Creative Market. So if you want to follow along with me, then please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye now.